You got it? I actually do have it. You do? Is it ready? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look a little wobbly. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so it is the same day, December the 26th, and everything that I said should have taken place today actually has. Um, we paid the cleaning lady, I went to Best Buy, and got a washer and dryer, I think I told y'all that already. And then we went to Ross, and I got a bunch more baskets. And I've been trying to go with like a gray color scheme. And then what else? My husband got his phone screen repaired. We talked to our realtor, he called us because he tried to come here because we got a notification on our phone and he asked us to like, he called us and asked us where we were. We told him we would be home in a little bit. So like 10, 15 minutes is what I told him. So I'm assuming he's gonna come back down here because I think he still wants to give us our gifts because he talked about giving us some gifts. But as of right now, what we're about to do now is put together this bed. My husband has his drill and he's about to get it in, and then I'm gonna make the bed, and for which case, <laughs> this room will be empty because once I can get like my pillows and their rightful cases and all of that, then this room will actually be empty. The nightstands that I bought yesterday, I'm gonna bring those up here temporarily. They're not gonna be in here permanently, but temporarily they are, and then I'll like eventually get nightstands here and then put those in the guest room. So yeah, we're gonna put this bed together and then after that I'll probably do some more organizing. I'm gonna see if he needs help. Looks like your feet can use. <laughs> Look, you look like the a wicked witch of the wedding <laughs> where when the tree or the house fell on her. <laughs> so that's what I'm <laughs> that's what I'm about to do. So I will check in with you guys later. Oh, it's going dead. That's why I ain't really doing it. He's struggling to make it back. He's trying to make it back to the dock. Home base. Huh? Oh, let me move this out of his way. Make sure he can make it. He trying to make it home. He's struggling now. He gonna die before he make it home. Is he gonna? I don't think he gonna make it. He happy he made it home. leaving Lowe's we just got all the blinds cut took what seemed like forever and eternity um, but we got the job done we have all of them labeled so we know and where they're going and she has a $20 off, 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 off coupon from USPS for moving because she wouldn't be shape budget since she didn't try to save some money um, so we got our blinds I also got hold up my uh, power drill I also got a power drill because I will be the one that will be hanging these blinds and hopefully they installing. I will be I will, huh? I'm hanging, installing. I, I basically cut them myself. Um, I also have my screws and whatever I need to put together the bed, so I am going to be a handyman. 
Good morning. Today is December the 27th. It is 7 31. Mm, there you go and I'm just waking up my husband has to get up any minute now because he has to be at work I am up just anyway because Best Buy is supposed to be delivering our washer and dryer between 7 and 1 and so I'm just up so I don't miss them because you know I'm sure they'll give me like a 20 minute you know like not wake up call but it could have potentially been a wake up call had they called any time before now but yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. So I'm just gonna be waiting around. In the meantime, I am going to cook breakfast because today I'm gonna be here all day. So Best Buy from seven to one and then Ashley Furniture from 1.30 to 4.30 and then my best friend, well then my husband comes home and then my best friend arrives. So basically, I'm just gonna be home all day conveniently doing laundry because the new washer and dryer will be delivered and I need to do laundry. So that's kind of what's going on today. And I will share with you guys the progress on the home as soon as I get up and yeah. So I will catch you guys whenever the washer, well, I don't know, I might catch y'all before that, but especially whenever the washer and dryer gets here so that I can show you guys our new washer. Bye. Okay, check it in. Last time we spoke, we were about to go, I was about to go make breakfast. So I've gone down to make breakfast. That was like an hour ago. We had breakfast. My husband ran his little robot vacuum cleaner and then he went to work. I already knew that Best Buy would be coming sometime between 7 and 1 p.m. to deliver our new washer and dryer. And I got an alert at about, mm, let's say like 9 o'clock, which told me who my deliverer or would be and what time what their name was and what time they would be coming like a better estimation of the arrival time and that was between 8 30 and 10 30 and I had gotten that at like 9 so I was like okay well you know within the next hour or so Ryan will be arriving Ryan called me about 9 30 and said that he would be here within the next 15 minutes and it is currently 9 45 so I am currently waiting for Ryan to come and deliver my new washer and dryer um, I also got an email notification from Georgia Power letting me know that the transfer of service had been completed I scheduled the electricity to go out of our name in the apartment on Monday the 23rd and to start here on Monday the 23rd which was our official move out date that's when our beds were going to be delivered here and all of that that took place so I'm getting an email now four days later just letting me know that everything went through um, I do have a bill due I think my due date is going to change now so instead of us paying like that around the 17th 18th of the month we have a bill due on the 10th for $30 which is going to be the fee that we had to pay for Georgia Power to transfer the service is what I am told um, like after looking at the bill and then I don't know if that's gonna be like our regular bill on the 10th or what but it just says that $30 is due which is the amount of the fee transfer so I don't know about that um, I would guess that maybe that would be our regular bill but I don't know I don't know I know we still have to pay for you know from whatever up until the 23rd from the apartment and I did see that we've used $14 so far here so what is that math if they started here on the 23rd and today's the 27th so it would only update it for yesterday which is the 26th because it's the day behind so that's three days yeah <laughs> 14 divided by three whew, whew, whew. so we're using like five dollars almost five dollars a day uh, that's about 150 a month we'll have to figure out how we can get that down because that's not gonna work I mean I know we're gonna use more electricity here but 150 a month isn't gonna work I want to try to get that down to like a hundred especially in the winter although we have had the air on and stuff because it has been kind of warm here in Georgia but anyway oh there's Ryan let me show you Ryan can you see Ryan yes there's Ryan <laughs> um do they have a dog? No. Oh, I don't, oh my God, I don't even have clothes on you guys. I gotta go put on a robe or a bra or something. Yeah, let me do that real quick. This is a mess. Yeah, I'll put on a bra and a robe. I mean, I have clothes on, but like, I'm not dressed appropriately to answer the door. So anywho, yeah, that's kind of what we have going on now. And um, I'll just continue to keep you guys updated. What they did tell me is that anytime you transfer from an apartment, I think it might be the same for 
any type of dwelling then the electricity just automatically goes back into the name of the apartment complex if that makes sense so anyway that's kind of what i've discovered but let me get dressed and go open this door so here is our new dryer and our new washer so he double checked that this is working correctly and all of that and he said to like have the dryer run two or three times to get out that burnt smell so that it doesn't leave that smell on the clothes so I've gone and retrieved some washing materials and I'm about to wash our first load I do need to wash all of my new towels and washcloths but as you can see they're new and white and everything so I'm just gonna wash like dusty dingy dingy <laughs> clothes maybe some like sportswear some stuff that we have worn while moving and all of that so let's let's give this a whirl okay so the first load is in so now what I'm gonna do is sit here and pick off all of these tags from all of the new towels and washcloths and hand towels so that I can wash them after I ensure that this load washes and dries correctly. Okay, so I've counted out all of these, separated them, removed all of the tags and all of that. So I have from my $100 Black Friday towel haul from Walmart and Kohl's, I have 15 washcloths between white and gray. I have 18 hand towels and face towels, which I mean, <laughs> 10 probably. I mean, 18 is a bit much, but no worries because some of them will be decor and then some of them will be for me to actually use and my husband to actually use and then for the big towels like body towels bath towels there are 13 yes 13 between white and gray so yeah i'm washing them all currently <sighs> oh what fun okay you guys so one of my best friends is coming down today and so I'm going to start preparing for her arrival so I am going to be preparing for my first guest so if I have not mentioned this already all of this is going to be going because I don't want it anymore nor do I like it but as of now it is in here and it also has a chest so that's just gonna be in there I don't know slowly but surely it's not that big of a deal because we're not gonna have guests all the time this is gonna be like literally a very slow process although I did already buy two nightstands for this room the headboard and frame that I want are only like 150 but I do want like a mirror and some decor and all of that so it's gonna be like definitely one of the last rooms to get situated but I did buy this queen set from um, I'm pretty sure TJ Maxx and I think it is beautiful so because I don't well I need to wash this anyway I don't really want the wrinkles to be in here that's not appealing I'm gonna go ahead and wash those two and then I got this from Ross I actually may have gotten both of these from Ross I did this was $40 $39.99 and it is a seven piece set and this was $19.99 $20 so I'm gonna wash the sheets and everything I'm not gonna wash the comforter I don't think unless I have time <laughs> which time is not on my side today so I may not be washing that but I am gonna wash the sheets and the pillow cases so that it's nice and clean and fresh also I got these new pillows off of Amazon they will be linked below and they are already linked in my Amazon shop and then the last thing <laughs> is this that I got off of Amazon as well this is um first of all I think it's gonna blow up let's see not blow up but like expand it's packaged in a vacuum bag wash and dryer spread it for a few days before first use so it'll return to normal thickness best way fluffy lay in the Sun for a few hours always like new after wash and wash cold gently and separately do not bleach tumble dry low remove promptly do not iron no free okay so this is like a 
what do you call it? I guess you would call it like not a mattress protector, <sighs> not a mattress cover, like a topper to make it a little bit m more comfortable. That's kind of what it is. So I don't know, I was gonna wash this because I thought that I had to, but I, as I can see, I really don't really have to. So I don't know if I'm gonna wash it, but I am going to put this down, take up all of that and then make the bed for the guests. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so Ashley, furniture <laughs> every time I say Ashley Ashley comes this day Ashley comes Friday whatever my husband is like who is Ashley anyway Ashley is on the way they called about 15 minutes ago it was like an automatic it was like a sorry y'all I don't let me stop this is why I don't walk in it's too much um like an automated call and said that they would be here in like 15 minutes. So this is actually the last of our major deliveries. I do want to go to Ikea and get a few things, but it's $199 to ship the items to me. I can really just go myself <laughs> and put $20 in my gas tank, my husband and me of course, and get them and save. 280, 180, 180. Of course, we'll probably eat out and stuff if we go such a distance. So, you know, tack on another 20 or 30 or whatever the case is. So I'm contemplating if I'm just gonna place an order eventually or if I'm going to go. But while we wait, let me show you guys what's going on here. So this is the current state of my office. Um, I do want some Billy bookcases from Ikea, I do believe, and put them on either side and then my desk in the middle. I think that's gonna look really cute. And then you guys, I want a nice couch over here. So my filming area, I'll have multiple filming areas. I could film over there because I'm gonna try to set that up kind of like cute like. I can film there, I can film there, and then of course I can film anywhere in the house. So that's the, the current situation with my office. Anyway, let's keep going. So Ashley's gonna come and they are going to put a sectional that's gonna be huge. It's not like massive, but compared to our old one, which you guys didn't see, I don't think really like the full size of it. This one is huge in depth and width and everything is just all around massive. So it's gonna come around here. I'm gonna have it stop about here, right up and through there. And it's gonna come, and I can decide if I want walking room on either side or not. It's big, but I think that the size of it in comparison to this room is going to be, is, is gonna allow for walking room on either side. So that coffee table I got off of Facebook Marketplace, that's gonna go in the middle. We're gonna mount the TV, and then of course I want maybe, so we live in Georgia, we're never gonna use a fireplace, literally ever, but I may want like one of the media, entertainment centers with the fireplace or I may want like a mirrored console or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I need to get that couch in here and look around and see and get the shutters up or the blinds up and just see what's going on in here. I know that is eventually going to have to go but I need to see what kind of like area rug I'm going to get and that's going to determine the media center because I'm thinking I want like a glam, more of a glam type of media center but I don't know if that's going to, I don't know if it's going to fit the vibe. So before I purchase it and then force myself to have a glam living room, um, which of course is still going to be very much comfy because the sectional and everything else is going to, I'm only going to do like a glam piece or two. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or just get like a nice more glam lighting fixture or glam accents here or there. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but they are gonna come with the sectional and place it here. And then I'll have to figure out, <laughs> I'll have to figure out the rest of what we're gonna do with this place, but let's wait for them to get here. Okay, so here is the sectional. I think she looks really, really good. She's coming off maybe kind of bluish um, on camera, but in good lighting, she's actually quite gray. But I, because they told us that we had to go with agreeable gray for our wall color in every room outside of the office or the flex room, which we could have paid more to get them to paint the rooms different colors, but that would have been like way expensive. So I decided to, of course, I feel like the only real options <laughs> for the aesthetic that we are going for would be white, black, gray, possibly beige, 
beige and white are kind of you know out as far as a living room and one that's like welcoming and inviting that just screams don't do too much in my room in my on my couch on my furniture because you might mess something up and get kicked out so we want our space to be inviting so really the only other colors were black and like a gray the walls are a light gray so that left dark gray and i'm not opposed to black i just didn't know if that would have been too harsh so anyway make a long story short this is our sectional i think what i will do end tables are out i'm definitely not putting an end table anywhere but i think what i will do is put maybe like a cute little con oh man my battery's going dead a cute little console back there and then of course like an entertainment center type of situation here and then the tv is going to be mounted there and then curtains and some stuff over here i don't know i have no real plans it's just whatever so what i was saying before i was rudely interrupted is that i'm just going to decorate with whatever jumps out at me i know i want like a mirror in there maybe a mirror over that console thing or on the other side i am not sure i have no clue but trust me when i say it's going to take me <laughs> five years to decorate this place but anyway the time now is 3 46 <laughs> cutting it real close um assuming my husband leaves work at five he'll be home after five and of course my best friend is on her way down here so she's not gonna get here till i don't know she said she had to stop and run an errand and she'll she might get caught in charlotte traffic and i don't really know when she'll be here whenever she gets here what i'm going to do is i'm going to run to our apartment because the last why well, i've had two things delivered there one is for a giveaway that i'm sponsoring tomorrow and that item shipped forever ago and per the last time that i checked which was earlier today it left ellenwood georgia like five days ago so i'm just going to hope and pray that it is delivered to our apartment and just see if it's delivered to our apartment i really really hope that it is because i need that by tomorrow so the other item that i had delivered to the apartment was slash is some racks so i bought um 200 new hangers because honestly they weren't that expensive and all the different colors and plastics and all of that from like the different types of racks that we had in the apartment literally drove me crazy so i just ordered all of the same types I thought about now that i'm thinking about it maybe i could have ordered like black and white and i could have had white since we share a closet i could have had white and he could have had black or something but anyway they're all white so i'm gonna go pick those up because my assumption is that they were either dropped off at the office which closes at 5 30 or they were dropped off outside of my apartment door and i want to go get them so that's what i'm about to go do i also think i may stop by at home or home goods I'm clearly cutting it close because I wanted to have dinner for my husband ready by the time that he got home but whatever so i want to get some shower hooks and a shower curtain i'm in no rush to just buy one like i've looked in marshall's and tj maxx and other stores but it has to like and it's not even for us particularly to look at every day it's for the guest room but i want something like i'm not gonna settle until i get i don't do that anyway but i have to like i can't just make a purchase just to make a purchase like it has to be something that i really want so i'm gonna stop by those two stores perhaps and see if they have a shower curtain that i like i'm going with apparently like a gray type of vibe because the countertops in there are marble and i bought like this these marble um little like a soap dispenser and stuff like that so i think i've been looking at it walking past it every day making sure i like it trying to see if i like it i think i do like it so i want to match it um maybe like a black or a gray or something that's going to complement it well um uh, possibly even like a real subtle shower curtain maybe like straight up black or white or something i don't know but we're gonna see and also i need some bleach and a few cleaning supplies because i've been unpacking my office and learning that i cannot locate some of our <laughs> cleaning supplies or i don't know so i'm just gonna try to swing by dollar tree which is um close to a couple of the places that i'm going and get those items and then that's pretty much it and then i'm gonna come home and start cooking dinner then i think my husband is gonna try to hang the blinds because this is a very ghetto would not recommend and that's pretty much gonna be it for the day and then i'll just wait for my friend to get here and we'll hang out on the couch and all of that so just wanted to jump in jump on here really quickly and update you guys and let's head on out to do these last minute errands oh and by the way these pillows are definitely like a blue which is kind of like 
it's kind of making this appear even more blue or bluer but those pillows definitely have to go those three i will probably um just put a pillow cover over them because i'm not going to get rid of them because they're pretty good pillows so i'll probably get like white or black um or something like that some kind of pillows to cover up this pattern because this blue is not quite working for me and my aesthetic so i um, just wanted to point out that it did come with all of these pillows and the gray ones of course are like perfect they're staying i think i want like a few white fluffy pillows i don't know i'm not ready to buy decor yet so this is what we're gonna be working with until then but which i guess i could turn it that way and that's not terrible but anyway we are going in at home i love the store but i just like the look i've never bought anything out of there so we're gonna see if we can find a thing or two if you've never been to at home it's kind of like home goods meets tj maxx meets a bunch of other fancy places because as uh, you can see they have really nice stuff i'm gonna look at the bar Ooh, see i like those bar stools but i don't like that wood tone like i like the upholstered look in the gray but i don't like that that's the kind of wood tone that i would like let's see <laughs> uh, unless that's a set of four mm, probably not now these as dining room chairs i love i see one two and three so i don't know if there's a fourth <laughs> somewhere oh is that one no i don't know that i don't know but i do love those love 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 those but let's see they are 140 a piece. That's not terrible. 280. Whew. 280 for two, 300 for two of them. That's not bad, but I do love this. I just like the upholstered look. Like I love this, but I don't like that wood tone. I like darker wood tones. Really love this one, the cream beige looking color, but again, that wood tone. But I did find the fourth chair, the, the one that I like. Um, the other, that one. I found the fourth one over here somewhere. Um, that's pretty much it for dining chairs. I like that one too, but that's way too big for that little space. And this is like my favorite section. A lot of like organizational stuff and like, ooh, I love that marble in that one. I do like these mats a whole lot. And plus they're $12.99, so you can just change them out with the seasons or whatever. So I may get some place mats for the dining room table that we have currently, although I might not because I do want to change that. So. Let me just try to go find the bath stuff, which is what I came in here for. I want this exact mirror, like something like this, in our bedroom. I think that's cut off, but my assumption is that it's $2.99, which is so expensive. <sighs> I'm poor. We're going to have to... I don't know what we're going to have to do. That's cute, too. So, like I mentioned, um, unless I really see a good deal on something that's, like, decorative, I'm just pretty much doing functional stuff like that's what I'm buying so I'm gonna buy the silicone oven mitt and I'm gonna get this lighter gray one and then this dish drying mat as well because I wanna <laughs> that's pretty much the reason although they have a pretty big selection of like the mini ones and stuff okay quick Dollar Tree haul I got two measuring cups some bleach multi-surface cleaner Clorox wipes and this little butter dish and um one day i'm gonna jump on like the all natural wave but i'm not there yet so yes i'm still using bleach although i don't really use it that much i just got it because i'm washing a lot of whites right now and i'm going to be because that's kind of like we have a bunch of whites now with like our towels and washcloths and everything so i want to make sure they stay clean so yeah this is all i know at this point plus it was a dollar at at home i did get the oven mitt mitt and I got these shower hooks and then this shower curtain spoke to me of all of them and I absolutely love this. So we're gonna see how it looks. Um, like I said, the bathroom is basically white and silver anyway. And then I got this bath mat, which for now is gonna go in the bath, in the um, guest bathroom, but I may still put it in the master, I'm not sure. Like, we'll have to see, but either way, it's gonna go somewhere. But right now, it is going in the guest bathroom because I have a guest arriving today. And then I did get this dish drying mat. So I'm about to try to whip together this guest room and then I'll show y'all what I come up with. 
Oh, and I also got these white hooks from Amazon. I think I paid about 25 for a pack of 50, I believe. And I think I bought 200 of them. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put some of these in the guest room right now as well, just a few in case she needs to hang her items. And then I will use the rest of them to get to our closet because it's, it's a mess.